I'm an insurance agent. I'm 30, going to be 32 years old. Um, I live actually with my grandparents and aunt. Okay, from from young, I've been living with them because um, uh, my my parents they 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 go out to work. When when we are young, they couldn't um take uh, like leave us alone in the house, you know. So uh, what they did is basically they they got a maid for my grand grandparents, and then so my grandparents like you know took care of us and everything. In this family that I'm living with my grandparents, right? So there's my grandparents, aunt and uncle. There is this particular incident that actually took place about almost um, 14 years back. Okay, so basically since this is my grandparents' house, so my cousins also usually do come over and then, you know, we have a, a, a overnight in my grandparents' house. So at that period of time, all of us were uh, teenagers and all this. So hanging out late night, you know, just uh, chilling and, and talking and everything uh, during the night wee hours and all this is a very common thing and at times also my friends because uh, my cousins and my friends and we are all we are all like quite close so they also do come over so we have a lot of this gathering especially during the weekends okay so what happens is if if my cousins come over we usually actually uh, sleep in the hall together as usual you know teenagers we like to talk ghost stories and all this this happens every night. Sometimes the stories are repeated, but we still enjoy, you know, um, talking about ghost stories and all this. So there was this uh, particular night whereby um, my friends and cousins they were talking about this. Um, they were talking. I, I'm not really sure what the story was because I was the first one to do so. So um, what happened was that suddenly one of my um, cousin woke me up. This this happened about 4 a.m. 4 a.m. One of my cousins just woke me up. So I woke up in like, you know, I was panic shock. And I woke up and then I I and I um asked them, hey, um, why 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 you all suddenly wake me up, you know? What 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 happened? And then they said that they heard footsteps that came from the kitchen. And the footsteps actually it, it walked, they, they could hear the sound walking. To my uncle's room at 4 a.m. So that period, my uncle um, was not really staying at home because um, he 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 flies and all this. He travels. The thing just entered um, this this particular footstep just entered my uncle's room, and all of them were very shocked. Then I I I I told them you know because we live in a HDB, so sometimes you know when people uh, above you the above floor they are walking, you also can hear you know. There's a particular sound. But they said no. Because actually there's a difference when someone is walking, um, you know, the above floor. And then someone is walking in the house. The footstep sound is different. But then um, I say no, like, uh, nothing. Like, maybe it's just your imagination. Because you're also talking ghost stories and all this. So maybe you're like, hallucinating something. They were like, no, no, no. We are very serious. So one of my friends, what he did was that um, he was a bit more brave. So he said, let me go inside that room. Okay, so the windows were closed. Okay, so basically, like, there is no wind or anything in the room. And he went into the room to actually take a blanket and also to check out um, what just entered that room. Lah. So he took the blanket and then suddenly he, he exited the room. And you know the, the, the doors that, you know, um, I think the more the older houses, they have, like, the metal... Um, knock behind the door so that you know your door don't swing if you open the door yeah so if you want to actually close the door you need to use some force to close the door even if there's wind the door is not able to close by itself because of the magnet so what happened was that when he went into the room and he took the blanket and then he looked there was nothing so he he, he came he, he came out from the room and within a few seconds, the door just shut, close. Like, you know, sometimes, um, like, especially, like, uh, we humans, sometimes we get angry, we, we fight with our uh, family or what, and then we go inside the room and then we'll shut the door close, hard, hard, so something like that. We could feel that, you know, maybe we thought maybe that particular thing that was inside the room was not happy. 
that we came in. So um, all of us got scared, and then um, what happened was that uh, yeah, as usual, then we started playing the prayer songs and all this, and then um, somehow we managed to doze off that night. So what happened was that um, the second day, I remember I was um, my cousins all went back, so I was alone in the hall. And again, 4 a.m., you can hear the footsteps coming from the kitchen and traveling into the room. And I remember I could clearly hear it. Just um, it was basically I could hear the footstep that um, it's. It, it, I, and then then only I realized that it's actually the footstep sound is different from when somebody is walking in the above floor. And it, and it happens exactly at 4 a.m. And so what happened was that um, the following week. Um, again, the weekends, my cousin came over and we, we, we decided to stay up till 4am to see whether uh, whether we can hear the footsteps. And what happened was that the following week also, exactly at 4am, we could hear, it will come from the kitchen and directly enter my uncle's room. But it doesn't disturb any of us. We, we, we also do not dare go into my uncle's room. But if we can just hear the presence, the footstep. And yeah. then I remember this particular incident also. I invited another friend to the house. He told me there's no such thing. There's no such thing as spirit. Okay, so he came to my house a particular weekend. My cousins also came over. He started like he, he started saying things like, um, you know, hey, there's no such thing as spirit. Like, this one uh, is nonsense and all these kind of things. Suddenly, we heard someone saying this Shh, to us. Um, telling us to keep quiet, lah, basically. So, uh, we all heard that. Then, as usual, my friend, being very skeptical, said that uh, maybe it's the neighbors or something and everything. So we're like, okay, never mind. But this time, at four a.m., when he was lying down on the sofa, this time, to prove its presence, it came close to my friend, stopped a while, and then after that, he walked back inside the room. We were also very scared to talk to the adults about this. My grandparents are too because as usual you know they are always angry that we are sleeping late and all this and above that when we go and tell them that oh yeah we are hearing sounds at night and everything that's it we'll get more scolding you know especially indian parents and all this last yeah so um i remember this continued for a few months and i even um, actually joined uh the polytechnic already after that and then you know there's always projects and everything so i remember every night 4 a.m. I would still hear the same sound. So, so this has been continuing for a very long time. And then one particular day I decided to just open it up to my grandmother. So I told my grandmother that you know there, there is this sound that there's footsteps every 4 a.m. If any of y'all heard it or what. Then my grandmother was like, Oh, okay. I saw her face change, but she told me no no, it's nothing, it's nothing. She just didn't want to scare us because we were young and all this, right? Yeah. So one particular day, we decided to actually um, ask my uncle about it because he's always traveling to his room. So he told us, oh, y'all also heard it, is it? And he said that I have seen worse things. He said he has even seen the form of it in his room. And at night, certain nights, right, you could hear the chair dragging and all this. So you drags the chair. I, I don't know why. Sometimes you just want to show its presence. Okay, but it doesn't physically harm many of us. He didn't really describe it to us how he how it looked like, uh, and then it would wake uh, it would it would wake him up and I so he say well, you know when you all hear the chair moving and all this right, it's actually to wake him up and disturb him. So what he did was that um, he went um, to Indonesia to seek like this um, like this you know spiritual helper. Um, so this person said that. Okay, first of all, you need to to test whether the presence is there. So he 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 gave my uncle like a, a few limes, and then he said that you squeeze the lime in the room. So make sure like you know the the the, the floor is filled with um, lime juice lah. And then he said that you 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 put powder on the floor, and then if the presence is there, you'll be able to see the footsteps. I remember I came back from um Holly that day, that day. And then he showed me a photo of it that I could literally see the footsteps. And I was like, 
so shocked and then I and, I, and then we confronted him and we asked him actually really what is happening why why is there this particular presence why why is it only disturbing you so he shared with us a story whereby he had a very good friend and the friend was going through some divorce with the wife and so this friend's wife's mother actually does black magic so at this period when they were going through divorce my my uncle was very close with his friend so the 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 mother thought that actually my uncle is trying to separate their relationship but he was just there uh, for his friend while he's going to divorce that's it so what she did was that she actually um sent something to the house so uh this thing is like haunting him and disturbing him and all this but then um after a few months um he went to a lot of places um, to, to to seek help from certain priests and all this uh, a few months later then there was no more um, or, uh, hearing of the footsteps and everything like so we believe that um, it left yeah i think i think that this presence was quite strong also because um from what i believe okay why it comes from the window and all this because for most indian houses we do have like you know the lord vinegar photo at the door and all this yeah our, our, our goddess are lord vinegar and all this um the elephant god photo at the, um at our door and all this so um sometimes we believe that it's not able to pass through the door because of the protection there so it tries other ways to actually enter the house so it always comes from the kitchen window it enters through the kitchen window